Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on mensuration. The diagram shows a shape made up of three identical sectors of a circle, each with sector angle 65 degrees. We can see that there are three sectors over here and each sector is having a central angle of 65 degrees. The perimeter of the shape is 20.5 cm. Calculate the radius of the circle. Now perimeter of the shape is the bold lines which you see in the shape that is the outline of the given shape. Now let us consider this point as the center of the circle. So this represents a sector which is a part of the circle. So obviously this line is going to act as a radius of the given circle and it is given that all the three sectors are identical. So this bold line also represents the radius of the circle. Now let us look at these arc lengths. Since all the three sectors are identical, we can consider this arc length as L. The same represents this arc length and this as well. So the perimeter is made up of two radii and three arc lengths. So let me write it over here. So perimeter is equal to two times radius plus three times the arc lengths. Now perimeter is given as 20.5. So let us write here 20.5 and 2 times radius will take the radius as r plus 3 times arc length. So let us write down the formula of arc length here. It is given as the central angle theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r, 2 pi radius. So let us simplify this further and substitute the values. So since here r is a common term, I have taken it outside and factorized it and inside the bracket remains 2 plus 3 times theta. Theta was the central angle and it was given as 65 degrees. So 65 over 360 times 2 pi. So r is taken out. Now let us simplify this further. So we have here 20.5 is equal to r times. Let us see how much value we get for this bracket. So we get the value as 5.40339. So this is an intermediate value. So we are going to take this value for at least three decimal places or to get more accurate values till four decimal places. So we'll take it as 5.4034. So now making R as the subject, that is radius as the subject, we will write here 20.5 divided by 5.4034. So let us check the value, how much we get here. So we get the radius as 3.7939. I'm going to consider here the answer till two decimal places. So it is going to be 3.79. So let me write here, the radius is 3.79 centimeter. So this is how we find out the radius of the given shape. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. And if you know any other way of solving this example, please comment below. So if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.